Michael T. Williamson, appeared on Celebrity Ghost Stories in 2010, and told a story, about a phone call, he received from a childhood friend, who had a terrifying message from hell. Michael T. Williamson, is best known for playing Bubba in Forrest Gump. This is not a story, I tell people all the time, because people will think, I'm lying or I'm delusional. To this day, I'm very careful about who I talk to about the story, but this is a fact. This is something that happened to me. This happened in the early 80s in Los Angeles, California when I was a struggling actor. People who know me know I stop by my mom's house a couple times a week to go see my mom. Everyone who knows me knows that about me. One day, I gave her a call and she didn't answer the phone so I stopped by. My mom met me outside her house and told me to get back in the car and go home. It was really weird. I was like, Mom, are you okay? She was like, yeah baby, I'm fine. Just get back in the car and go home. I'll talk to you later. Call me when you get home. So I called her when I got home and she said everything was fine. A couple days later, I stopped by her house again and, like clockwork, she met me outside and told me, get back in the car and go home. I was like, Mom, what's wrong? Are you okay? She was like, I'm fine, baby. You cannot be here now. I was like, is somebody bothering you? She said, no, baby. Just get in the car. If you see any of your friends, don't stop. Go home. I asked my mother if there was anyone in the house. She said, no. Mama wants you to go home. So I looked at her and I was like, okay, mom. All right. I was tempted to push my way past her and go on in the house to see if everything was okay, but I would never disrespect my mom. My mother's not a weak or frail person. She's a very strong woman. A couple of days went by and my phone rang. It was my mom and she asked me if I could come and see her. I was like, Mom are you okay? She was like, when can you get here? All the way over there, I had butterflies in my stomach and I was like, what's going on? What's wrong with my mother? When I got to her house, she let me in this time. Something was definitely wrong. It was so thick in the air that you could cut it with a knife. I had to try and stop myself from shaking because my nerves were on edge. There were some guys in the neighborhood I had grown up with. One of the kids was named Adrian. We were best friends. Adrian always found a way to do things the wrong way. I was able to forgive him for a lot of the dumb stuff that he did. He was the kind of kid who would go off and do some dirt on his own and come back and you'd see that he had a new watch or a new necklace or something. It seemed like something was driving him to do wrong and even when you snapped him out of it, he couldn't tell you why he did it. I could always find a way to talk him into doing the right thing because I knew even then what karma was all about. I understood that spiritual law, that what goes around comes around. We sat down and my mom said, I'm sorry to tell you that Adrian got killed last night. His cousin shot him and killed him in the middle of the street. I was just stunned. She said, he had been by here looking for you and I saw death on him. My grandmother could actually see spirits and my mother could see death on a person before they died. 
She didn't want our paths to cross because she saw death on him so strong. She knew there was nothing she could do to turn that tide and he was definitely going to die soon. I was like, mom, maybe I could have helped him. She was like, no. There was nothing you could have done. Death was on him too strong and his time was up. I went back to my apartment and I was really disturbed over the whole thing. I sat in disbelief for a long time and I kept thinking what if I had seen him? What if things had been different? The following evening, I called my girlfriend and she came over for dinner. Just as we're sitting down to eat, the phone rang and my girlfriend answered it. All the color went out of her face and I knew something was wrong. She said, it's a collect call from Adrian. I took the phone and said, hello? The voice on the other end of the phone was the voice I knew all of my life from childhood. This was my friend Adrian. He called me, Mike. Mike. There was only three or four people in my life who called me Mike because I hated being called that and right off the bat, I knew his voice. It was him. He said, help me. Help me. You know how to help me. I was like, Adrian, where are you? He said, they are trying to take me inside. I ran away. Help me. You gotta help right me now, before they get back. I could hear all these voices screaming and a sound like a roaring fireplace, where you could hear the heat cut through the air. I could hear him begin to fight and he was being overpowered. He kept screaming, no. 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 Let me go. I'm not going, and he was screaming my name, Mike. 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 Then, the phone just went dead. I stood there for a long time. It's very hard to be on the phone with a person you can't help. I talked it over with my girlfriend and she told me to call the operator and see if they could trace the call. They couldn't. The operator told me that if it was a collect call, it would be reflected on my bill. I knew the date, the time, everything. But when the phone bill came, that phone call wasn't on my bill. This was a phone call that I received from the other side and he made contact with me through a telephone. He kept saying that I knew how to help him and to this day, I'm still baffled as to exactly what he meant. I really don't know how I could have helped him. I wish I did, but I don't. The phone call was a message to me because I was taught that hell is a real place. There's always consequences. Had I been with him when death came, it could have taken me as well. I know that the spirit world is very real, but I would just say, don't be afraid, just make sure that you walk in the light because that's the only protection you have.